When it comes to Sony and Marvel Studios Disney dealing with Spider-Man, there is a lot that is happening behind the scenes that we don't know. We know that the companies are working together again, but for how long and what is the end goal after Spider-Man No Way Home? Well, some recent rumors have popped up saying that once Spider-Man No Way Home wraps up, there will be only one Spider-Man continuity left in live action that will roll everything together into one. So we know that everything that happened between Sony fighting Disney over Spider-Man was due to the fact that Sony wanted to use Spider-Man, specifically the MCU version, in the Sony universe, whereas to Disney was like, well, no, because that doesn't make sense. Your films don't connect to our universe. Now with the multiverse, that seems to have sort of a fixed that because they're going to connect everything in some sort of weird way. There's a lot of rumors and speculation on what comes next and what exactly happens with Spider-Man because Sony has confirmed that down the road, Tom Holland's Spider-Man will face Venom, Tom Hardy's Venom. So something is definitely going on. There's some sort of crossover and something happening. Now, a brand new rumor that's popped up online that's getting a lot of traction because fans believe this is what they're going to do is a sort of soft reboot slash reset of the Spider-Man timeline in the MCU involving everything else being connected in some way. And this goes all the way back to those early talks and reports of the adjacent MCU and then what it means for them to be fully integrated. And I think looking at some of these reports and why these rumors are now starting to gain traction is because if you look at what Kevin Feige recently said, he didn't dismiss Venom and Morbius and what Sony's doing. Instead, he said, we're going to know more after what comes next with the multiverse. So I think in that sense, it does make some sort of sense that this is how they're going to do it. And we still don't know what the end goal is for the sacred timeline, the multiverse war, and how everything connects. So feasibly, years from now, you could have a Venom 3 that features Spider-Man, and also a Spider-Man 4 in the MCU, and they run parallel, and maybe they're the same Spider-Man and acknowledge each other, or maybe it's part of the multiverse where Tom Holland is playing different iterations of Spider-Man, just slightly different from one another, in two different continuities because the multiverse has spread out in this weird way. And that way, if they want to reset everything, at some point, once everything with the sacred timeline is restored, they can put it back in order and then fully integrate the Sony stuff in a pseudo side weird continuity, main continuity, wink and nod to one another, but not actually, unless they're going to let Kevin take the reins on all these other franchises as well, which Disney does now have incentive on then you could see one streamlined continuity where everything is kept in order. And I think if cooler heads prevail, this is how it's going to be handled, because that's the way that it makes sense. And there's already been plenty of rumors in regards to a Spider-Man 4 or a TASM 3, and you can still have those. They'll just be in their own old continuities if you want, but keep Tom Holland a bridge between multiple different Sony connective universes through the multiverse before you converge it all into one. Which again, would be the smartest way to approach it because then you have your cake, you can eat your cake, but you also got another cake just in case you want more. 